Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about some of my favorite luxury candles. If you are watching this video, you are probably asking yourself, are luxury candles worth it? And the short answer is yes. And the long answer is it depends. So for me, I say yes, because candles are part of my everyday routine and I, you know, love me some expensive luxury designer candles, but I do have some affordable options if you don't want to shell out the money for some of these very expensive candles. So I have for you here candles by Dossier. Dossier makes some of my favorite dupes for luxury designer fragrances and they very kindly sent me some of their new candles that they just released. This is Floral Rose. So Floral Rose is a dupe for Le Labo's Rose 31 perfume, which I love Le Labo because it is very pricey. I don't actually own any full sizes of their fragrances. I just have, you know, a lot of the testers. This smells exactly like Le Labo Rose 31. So the candles come in this really cute box, by the way, so it makes a great gift. It says love at first match and then it has a little card that tells you what the inspiration is for the candle in this case or or a fragrance they also make some great fragrances so just like le labo rose 31 the top notes for the candle is rose centifolia cumin vetiver incense cedarwood musk cistus and amber it smells so good this has been burning for a few hours already so this is it. It's been burning for a while. So I lit the candle and then I left my room. And then when I came back within 15 minutes, the entire room is scented like Le Labo's Rose 31 fragrance. It smells so good. So they have a bunch of candles that they just released. They retail for $39, but they always have tons of deals. So I have a couple more. Another one they have is Floriental Vanilla. And you can see here, top notes are mandarin, pear, pink pepper, licorice. It has jasmine, orange blossom, cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. And can you guess what this is a dupe for? So here's a card. So this is a dupe for YSL Black Opium. And I don't know if YSL makes a Black Opium candle, but I do have the fragrance and the candle. Here, let me just spray this. You really smell the coffee note when you test it out, but... It smells very similar. I don't know. I, it says the base notes are vanilla and coffee. I really smell those just right off the top when I spray the perfume. And that's what I smell in the actual candle. So if you love black opium, check out the Floriental Vanilla Candle by Dossier. By the way, if you're wondering what's spinning around back here, though, these are my Diptyque Carousel and Lantern. It's part of their holiday collection and I think they're still available. So I'll link them below if you're interested. And then for anyone who likes Dior Sauvage, Dossier makes the Aromatic Star Anise Candle and it is the same notes as it tells you here, Dior Sauvage Perfume. And I didn't even realize it tells you the concentration. I guess that's the concentration of the fragrance within the candle. So it tells you here the top notes, Bergamot Pepper, Star Anise, Lavender Nutmeg, Geranium, Patchouli, Amberwood, and Vetiver. So this is the Dior. Mm, okay, Dior Sauvage, it smells so good. So I would say, yeah, these smell so similar. So if you like Sauvage or if anyone in your life who likes Sauvage, check out the Aromatic Star Anise Candle by Dossier because it smells 100% identical to the actual cologne or eau de parfum. This would be great for a guy, if he uses Sauvage, this would be a great gift, like a housewarming gift. I would say to keep this in the, you know, in the bathroom when they're getting ready. Now moving on to my absolute favorite, hands down number one candle. It is Tom Ford Rose Prick. Now, Rose Prick is my favorite fragrance from Tom Ford. This retails for $135. You can see I have burnt it. This had been burning for quite a while and there's still a lot left. It definitely has been more than a full day. I usually start off the day, like I'll start a candle burning in my office while I'm working and it has lasted a long time. It really doesn't even look like it's made a dent, but this smells so good. So Rose Prick is my favorite from Tom Ford. This is the Eau de Parfum. And if you aren't familiar with this, it's very strong. This is very strong. This is not for the <laughs> faint of heart. It is like a very deep night, like sensual rose fragrance. It's not a light, fresh rose at all. And even I remember opening this before I even burnt it and it smelled like I had sprayed this all over, but I didn't. And so I was like, okay, this is worth it. And in fact, I think it is so worth it that I was considering getting a second, even though I'm not even done with this. It's $135, it's definitely worth it. If you can get it while it's on sale, even better. But if you love Rose Prick, I would definitely recommend this. I know Tom Ford also makes the effin' fabulous candle. 
I'm not a huge fan of that fragrance. It is very true to the essence of the cologne. So yeah, I love this one. This is one of my favorites. Okay, next up is Replica's Lazy Sunday Morning. This is the box. I love that it's the same packaging as their fragrance. I don't own a full size of this. I do have the kind of a deluxe travel sample of this. This smells like a lazy Sunday morning. It smells like fresh sheets and linens. They describe the fragrance here as soft skin and bed linen. Because I picked up during the Sephora sale their Sephora Favorites candle sampler. So, so check that video out. The candle sampler, I don't think they make anymore, but I mean, it's out of stock and I don't know if they're gonna restock it, but it's great because it comes with five mini candles. And so there was a mini of this and then you can trade in the certificate for a full size. So it's a great way to try out some different brands if you are not familiar with them. So I was able to try out the smaller version of this and it smells amazing. You know, I love florals for my office, but then these kind of clean, you know, linens, laundry type scents, I really like for the kitchen. You know how when you clean your entire house or you clean your kitchen and then your kitchen is closed for the day, then you light a candle <laughs> and then it's official. I would light this candle. So the full size replica, candle is $62. Now, is this worth it? I love Replica's fragrances. My favorite is Beach Walk. If they made a Beach Walk candle, I would definitely get that. I love aquatic, beachy, you know, ocean, sunscreeny type scents. This is really good. However, I would say that Lazy Sunday Morning, you know, the soft skin, bed linen, cotton sheets, those are maybe a little more generic for that kind of a fragrance note. I'm okay with the kind of more affordable candles from Bath & Body Works or you know, Walmart or, <laughs> or something. But if you're feeling extra fancy, then this would be also really good. And also if you're a big fan of Lazy Sunday Morning, then this would be a great compliment. Okay, another one of my favorite candles is by JP Candles. This is a small business local candle company. These are handmade here in the amazing state of Georgia. So they recently redid this because this is the old packaging. So, okay, I yes, I do save some of my candle empties because I did want to share this with you. My favorite candle from JP Candles is Cold Nights. It's tonka, oud, amaretto, and musk. It's so good. It just smells like a luxurious, warm, cozy winter evening, if that makes sense. So I completely went through one of them already and they repackaged it. And so now it has this really cool, sleek black design. This one I burnt a little. This is Southern Fig, by the way. This is a different fragrance. This smells like cherry blossom, fig, bamboo, and moss. This smells so good also. This is a little more fruity. And so I, but I just love, look, it even has this wood top with this little rubber gasket so that it really seals in the scent. So you're not losing any of that essence. So now these retail for $39, but there are always tons of deals. I have a promo code with them. So I'll include all the info below, but definitely check out JP Candles, support small business. Okay. And lastly, I recently got Eden Rock from Dior's Maison fragrances collection. It is so good. I already told you that I love aquatic beachy fragrances. This is like salty ocean. It's like you're swimming in the Mediterranean. I don't know. I love it. As soon as I got this, I immediately ordered the candle. So this is the candle Eden Rock. It has a really cool blue, you know, wax and it smells so good. It smells so clean. It is citrusy, salty, like white floral, fresh, woody, has balsamic, it has coconut. So I got this because I love the fragrance and I have not tried this yet. I don't want to burn it yet. I don't know how long it will last, but I mean, isn't that cool? It's like an, they made the wax look like an ocean. These surprisingly retail for $90, which I thought was more kind of affordable side, especially for Dior, because Dior is pretty pricey, especially for the Maison fragrances. So the Dior Maison fragrance, this is $250 for this size. It's very large, but you know, it's $250. So then it's $90 for the candle. So even though I haven't burnt it yet, it does smell exactly like the Eden Rock fragrance. And that's part of how I judge candles, you know, how they smell just straight out of, out of the box and, and if they carry the scent of the actual fragrance. Now, by the way, this comes with a book, The Art of Candle Burning, and it kind of gives you directions on how to make the most of your candle. And then it does have this little cover here. It says, and it tells you to read the directions before you light it. So that's how, that's what goes over the candle. And, you know, I don't know if it's to protect the wax or maybe keep the scent lasting, but I just realized that out of all these candles, only JP Candles has an actual lid to keep the scent contained, which I think is such a great idea. I mean, you can even hear the air when you push down on it. See, look, it's like popping out. But yeah, I mean, it's such a great idea. I feel like for the price you're paying for, you know, upwards of $100, I think they all should have that lid the way, the way JP Candles does, but 
So we'll see if the other candle companies kind of fall in line. So these are my favorite luxury candles. Let me know if you enjoy candles, what your favorite candles are. I have so many on my list. I have a lot that I still want to get. <laughs> and, and I recently unboxed a bunch in my advent calendar video. So check those out if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Dossier, for sponsoring this. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.